Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and this is take two of my Kit Club video. <laughs> now I have all the Kit Club items. So I had filmed my Kit Club video but I was missing two important key items out of the Kit Club. But it came in the mail yesterday. So you're gonna see my video is gonna have like a certain flow then maybe a break and then go back into the flow. <laughs> That's because I have to add these things into the video, but I am redoing the intro. So I have the Kit Club offerings here. 3D embossing folder of the month, 2D embossing folder, large die, small die, stitching die of the month, glimmer of the month, which the glimmer always comes with a lovely hot foil roll as a gift, clear stamp of the month with the coordinating die. Yesterday I received... This is the wax seal of the month. So for those of you that are new to Kit Club, the open date for new subscriptions for Kit Club is the 6th of every month to the 27th. And I always stress, don't wait until the later part into the 20s of the month because that's when things sell out. Everything here is limited quantity, including this. Better Press was introduced last month. That sold out immediately. This is the one this month. So I also got the Better Press. But let's go back to that wax seal. Wax seal of the month is Mandala Flower, which I really like this because this one can double as a snowflake. At least I'm seeing both mandala and snowflake i would use this for christmas crafting as well you get a full wax seal stamp you get the base and the handle plus if you join the wax seal club you also get a bag of beads love that because you know that these bag of beads those retail for 9.99 so that's really nice that you get a bag of beads here is the better press of the month rose bouquet take a moment isn't she pretty? I'm going to show a picture here because look at that example. Wow. <laughs> I love that blue background. Gosh, I wish I could watercolor like that. I'm going to take a screenshot of that because I want to practice how to do that. It's so beautiful. Look at that. So this is Rose Bouquet. And also in this video, I'm going to introduce a new product as well. You're going to get a lot of Kit Club, my examples for Kit Club, then introduction of new items and i also received better press christmas ah thumbs up all right crafters just hang in there the video might be a little bit long but you are going to get a ton of information so you can't say you don't know what's going on plus of course there is the die cutting sale i'll link the video here i did use some of what's in the die cutting sale lots of the foundations in my examples too okay all righty crafters let's get into this video Kid Club, August, yay! Let's get started. First up, seeing that I just received this and I'm going to have to weave it into my video, let's start off with the two new offerings at Kid Club, which is Wax Seal of the Month, Better Press of the Month. There is a value package. Value package is when Spellbinders bundles clubs together and gives you a special discount. Part of the perfect package. It used to be called the total package. It includes everything else but not these two items these two are like a, a la carte subscription meaning you would do better press if you want better press wax seal if you want wax seal only each one so those are two separate clubs you can do all your club separate but for certain things like small die of the month large die of the month you can do a club there that's called the die hard club if you want small die of the month large die of the month and glimmer that was usually my favorite when i was a kit club subscriber that's all three and that one is called glimmer and cut club so let's get back into the beauty here here is the mandala flower on this example i was using different colors of wax bead this is pastel aqua that mystic blue wax bead. Aren't these gorgeous? I'll put a link for everything I'm talking about. So I'll put a link for wax seal beads so you can take a look. This is gold. That's the standard that comes in your wax seal kit. But the beads you'll get in your order if you subscribe to the wax seal of the month is the peachy pink beads. Mandala flower. So pretty. This now is the better press of the month. Rose bouquet. Do I need to say more? It's a beautiful floral bouquet. Comes with a separate press plate that says glad we are friends so do you have to use the glad we are friends no you can also take it out and then have this happy birthday let me show you my example which is a combination of the two 
love. Late last night, went straight to work. And this time, I did something different, guys. This is the Better Press Double Weight cotton card panel i opened up my little pack this one is 220 pounds the original cotton card panels are 118 this is like almost like a mat board let me show you it only comes in the color porcelain which is white the size of a2 which is four and a quarter five and a half and five by seven it is not sold full size i like this a2 size i also have a pack of the five by seven but like i say it has a higher price point so if you were to get this, I would use it for those special, special occasion cards, meaning your mother, Mother's Day, something special, your best friend, again, something special. So you're not just using it for everything, but of course you can, but you're going to feel it in your wallet. I want to bring it up close to you. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm using natural light. What this does, the double weight, it actually is different than the regular card panel. Why? Regular card panel, when you do this better press, it presses in, deboss. Because this is so thick, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I saw it immediately last night and I was like, oh my. It debosses and embosses at the same time. There are raised areas in this as well. <laughs> Thumbs up. You know, I was like, what? Certain areas you get a feel of it. Here's an example, side by side. See, I'm telling you I'm doing sidebars. On the left, this is regular cotton card panel, A2 size. This is the double weight A2 size. I don't know if you can see the difference. But you see how this looks a little bit flatter? I mean, I'm trying my best to give you, I'm hoping I'm catching the angle in person. Oh, you'll see it. It presses but also lifts at the same time. So there is a definite artistic quality to this one and a more high-end stationer quality to this one. But you can still get that stationer quality here, but now you're getting the highs and lows with the double weight. Oh, love. And can I tell you, I did watercolor. You know, with watercolor, you get little warping. It is water on paper, but because she's so thick like a mat board, she wasn't moving. If you watched Yana's video with Denzel, where they talk about everything better press, they located a seller that was able to make this paper, ensure that it will always be there for us crafters who always need a refill, but it's a special paper. Now I can definitely see. Here I saw it. Here I'm like, oh, so yes, you pay more for it. But boy, reserve it for special occasions and when you want to do the wowzer because it is gorgeous, gorgeous. So I did a test of it last night on this one. I just put a simple black background. Now my background is an A2 size. So I did use my trimmer to trim this down. Okay, I brought it down to four inches wide, five and a quarter inch tall. I colored it up with my Zig clean color markers these babies but with this one i wanted to really play with something i have more control over which is these zig clean color markers here is my wax seal love love and there is the glad we are friends now i'm going to bring up the glad we are friends because you can see the high and low there see how it's pressing down and here it's pumped up it's almost like a embossing folder this is raised that's raised that's raised oh it's so interesting double weight cotton card panel this is antique gold wax bead here this is something new to spellbinders i got a sampling a bag of goodies of course if you want to purchase any of these you'll get the full roll this is called vivant i'm putting the name here on the screen a collection of twine cord and ribbons they're high-end and i love the first example i use so the thin ribbon oh I can make a bow with this one. So I'm going to get myself this green and there is a red one. There is also, like I said, there's twine. There is metallic twine. See, I told you I'm going to be giving you lots of information and some beautiful double-sided ribbon. I got some samples of it. You guys would get full order of it if you buy one. Look at that pink. Look at that pink. Oh, so there is that in store. Moving on. Let me tell you, this, very impressive. If you're curious, like I was curious, one pack, 
roll her through. Remember, you have to take out your mylar shims. Those three shims have to come out. You'll notice it too when you're running it. She gets a little stiff in your machine because of the thickness, okay? So don't keep those mylar shims. So take out the shims when you're doing the double weight. Before I get into the rest of the club, let's talk about some other things. Better Press Christmas, I received my samples to play with. Full packaging, I put everything on magnets, happy, happy. I was so happy last night after I finished watercoloring Rose Bouquet. And I'm gonna have a separate video because I made loads and loads and loads of examples. So I have all these panels done. I was in factory mode, so lovely. Look at the Noel, even practicing with ink. I wanted to explore the gray with some blue. You saw the cute bird, look at that bird. Joyeux Noel, oh, love the name too. And then these are my two double weight panels. Now this particular panel, look at that shape. What does it remind you of? Essential. Hexi Gem Dies. See the shape? It's on my large die of the month right here in the background. <laughs> so you're getting a preview. Isn't this gorgeous? I love the large die of the month. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that I have my samples and I went straight to play and I am a happy camper. This is gorgeous. And if you want to just send somebody a pack of cards, look at that. Simple. Great for masculine cards too. This is with ink white splatter and then pressed afterwards hello <laughs> love 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 so there's a whole offering i'll just put a general link for better press christmas let's get into the regular kit club video after seeing both wax seal and better press of the month all righty crafters moving on in the past couple of months we've seen all sorts of different themes we have had Under the Sea, last month it was Christmas in July, now it's Florals and More. Oh, just so fabulous. First up, this is a small die of the month. This one is called Breezy Swing Dies. There she is on her swing. You even get the full swing. Definitely have fun because these are separate pieces to customize how your swing looks. I decided to go with white, but I wanted this blue turquoisey background against a lot of bright white that was the theme i was going for still very summer and fun she's there her dress is blowing love the action you get some florals but i did add some additional florals to this let me give you a measurement of her and she comes together relatively easy she's so worth the effort of putting together three and three quarters of an inch tall by almost three and a half inch wide and i put her at an angle so she's like swinging upward these florals are from the set here you can use that hello and put it like right here in her dress i decided to use a sentiment one of my favorite glimmer hot foil sentiments love that one i think it's birthday unboxing yep <laughs> birthday unboxing <laughs> i have it memorized i know so <laughs> have her here took out one of my cloud stencils in the background ink top with some distress oxide cut out this window so it's like a shaker with no acetate and no shaker bits but this whole panel here is popped off that base okay right here what you're looking at 2d embossing folder of the month arches and dots has great detail, but you know, it almost looks like a computer circuit. Probably double this one for masculine cards as well. Love that. Love that geometric shape. To cut out that circle, I used one of my favorites. A lot of this collection is on sale. The oval is not on sale. Right now in the die cutting sale. This one is no longer in store at Spellbinders. Hasn't been for a while. These are on sale. Square, circle, Slimline. This is all from the Postage Edge collection. Here I'm using the Postage Edge Oval, that second die to cut that window. I could have done this on the outside edge if I wanted to, that shape, but I just needed the window done. I tell you, these Postage Edge dies, I love them because now I have that cut out with the great dot detail. For the florals, I use some of the florals from the set here. Because this is like an oversized 5x7 card, I wanted a more 
floral cluster here. That one goes into a past kit club item. This is from May. This is the large die of the month balloons and birthday wishes right in here. So I love that I could go back into a past okay. set. That's all the florals here. This is all Spellbinders card stock too, actually. Isn't she cute? I love this oversized card. Here, like I said, one of my favorite Glimmer Hot Foil plates. Birthday unboxing Glimmer. Love it so much. I have bought two sets of it. It does come with the coordinating die. One of the easiest sentiments to glimmer. If you want the stamp version, there is the birthday unboxing sentiments. Same exact sizing for that loopy happy birthday. But the coordinating die to cut it out is only in the glimmer set. So I put that there, layered it up like two, three times. Card number one is done with small die of the month and embossing folder of the month. Up next is the large die of the month. Blooming pomegranate dies. Do I have to say love? I just love these dies so much. You get that vine with those points to then put whatever you want. Blossoms, fruit, small florals, all the good stuff. We have that beautiful branch with leaves and then two focal point fruit, the pomegranate. I did not want to do like the typical red pomegranate. So I went on Google and there is the yellow pomegranate. So I did the yellow pomegranate that exists. Of course, blue leaves don't, but I like this combination of the peachy yellow with the blue. This blue is Spellbinders Cosmic Sky cardstock along with Raindrop Beeswax cardstock and here Peach Sorbet. The pomegranate and the blossoms, they do have a touch of ink blending. This came together super easy and I wanted to have that focal point right here and then beautiful embossing folder in the back. This one is from the Sealed for Summer collection. Love this embossing folder. There it is in white. Here it is in Spellbinders Alabaster cardstock. This is a great cardstock. And I've been reaching for it as a background lately or accent piece, etc. You know why I think I love this embossing folder so much? When I look at it, I think of those New Orleans tin roof tiles. Let me show you a picture here of what I'm talking about. That's what this reminds me of. I'm doing it here at a five by seven size. To put my pomegranate cluster, essential hexi gems dies. And then put this on the top. Popped it up a little bit off of it. And then to finish it off, I bought one pack. But I'm going to go back and get another pack. This is Sapphire AB Spellbinders Gems. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, come on. Tell me that you're not liking this blue color. But I am not hating this blue at all. I think it's gorgeous. Gold metallic and just splatter some blue in the background too. Right here, that sentiment. Coming back into that Better Press Sentiment set. Hard sellout. When I say hard sellout, that means you can't find it. Has to be notified when it's back in stock. Always and forever sentiment strips. You run this one time through your better press plate. Cut it one time with the coordinating die. Here, this is on bisque cotton card panel with that bark. I love that bark ink. That one comes in the Regal ink pack. Let's have a quick sidebar about the better press because I had mentioned this before, but I want to show you in a real life application. When you mess up your better press card panel, you see right there, that's the back. Underneath this right now, that's a mess too. You can flip on the other side. Look at that. So you don't lose that card panel. Then I have run in, you can do white, you could do cream too, to then lined underneath here, just to add more stability to these sentiments. See how I did it in cream? And you make a mess, you can flip it over. Same thing with your better press. <laughs> Look at this. That's a mess. There it is clean. Don't you love that? If you mess up on your card panel, keep the panel. Keep that in mind. Look at that. You can't tell. Hello, sweet friend. So that is the large die of the month. Oh, I just love this colorway. Finish it off with some of these little white flowers too, with a little yellow center. Up next, let's talk about the glimmer of the month. Overflowing floral. Look at this. This is a large floral. Oh, I didn't do a measurement here. You're looking at, I'm not going to go all the way down here, but roughly four and three quarters of an inch. I want to stop here. 
and the width under four inches, okay? This large oversized floral spray. You're looking at six inches tall by four inches wide and it does come with a sentiment hope all is well with you this does not have a coordinating die the add-on for this month meaning you would purchase this separate that purchase would be with regular shipping etc so the add-on for this month is a stencil to color up this floral image and it is the overflowing floral stencil so if you wanted to get this you could add it to your cart and then do regular shopping. Like, let's say you want to shop now this die cutting sale. You could add those together, etc. It won't be part of the kit club. It's an add on, but it's a fabulous add on. I believe it's four stencils. They're all numbered bottom left corner. See that number one right there? So you can line up your stencil. And I colored it two ways. Did this one first. That's the girly one. Did this one. This is more neutral. I used on both examples a combination of Altenew ink and Gina K ink. Here I went a more peachy, pinky colorway. Here I went with blue with gray leaves. Same exact floral, two different ways. Use the satin metallics hot foil roll to glimmer this one. Use the opaque black hot foil roll to glimmer this one. Love. If you want to keep this in an A2 size, then yes. You could crop it down. You would take out this. You'd be around there. So this is just a little bit bigger, but you can crop it where you wish. Let's start off with card number one that I worked on. Here in the background, that's alabaster cardstock. This one is featuring the 3D embossing folder of the month. Look at those blooming florals. This is called 3D stylized floral. With the 3D embossing folder, you would use a universal plate system. I have the florals here so love on top of it this outline that is a scrap that i had from this die this was on like super sale it's called the bella ovalette the outer die and this inner die leaves this frame i had the frame back here for the longest time cut out in matte gold outlining this so i use the outer piece then to put the card together I decided that I wanted to use a wax seal. This is on sale. A lot of the standalone sealed by Spellbinders dies are on sale. This is one of them. I love sealed twine. There it is. So underneath here, there's that piece in the back wrapped around. This is brushed gold cardstock. So the brushed gold, when you wrap it, it's not cracking. Isn't that lovely? This is Spellbinder's Brush Gold cardstock. This was so big, I thought, gosh, a wax seal would be so beautiful. But I did not want to put a sentiment, so I put something on the inside. A lot of the standalone, like I said, is on sale right now. So I'll put a general link for the standalone dies because those are a great bargain. And you can get an additional 10% off if you're a Kid Club member. Love that. On the top, this is a new wax seal set. It's the All Occasion One Wax Seal Stamp Set. So you get three versions, a square, an oval, and a circle. This is with the new Matcha Wax Seal Bead. So it's this beautiful green color. Then I colored it up with the Deco Color Gold Pen right there. Because I kept the box so you can see it. This is the Spellbinders Seal Storage Box. I believe this is sold out. You can ask to be notified. It's great though because it does hold every set. I don't think you would want to get this kind of a box in acrylic. Most of the time it's in acrylic. These seals have a certain weight and edge. It could probably crack that. But in plastic, it can handle having all of these wax seals. There is weight here. Look how pretty she is so love i did finish it off with some gold mixed gems the crystal part just to fill in this white part this is with hammer mill cardstock on the inside i have happy birthday my friend i tell you i love this set so much this is the stampendous brush messages stamps it's a great stamp to use especially inside of your cards beautiful script followed by some nice print but not too over the top. And then you can write your message on the inside. I think it's appropriate 
for this card. Now this card I'm going to send to someone. So this will be the last time you're going to see it in person. <laughs> I use the black opaque hot foil rose. So you can see the dramatic difference between that dark gold from satin metallics or opaque black. Again, I'm coming back into that better press always and forever sentiments. Thanks a million. This is for one of Gina's coaches from the world games. I'm sending something to her on the inside. Because it's from all of us, I used again brush messages. Love. Isn't that nice? Created a frame around the image. This is also currently on sale in the die cut sale. Doesn't go on sale very often, but when you see it and it's a great deal, this is the five by seven matting basics. There is matting basics A and B. One from here, one from here, and created a nice frame. Could have gone wider if I wanted, but I decided to go a half inch frame. Could have gone thinner too between these two dies. Also in stock and on sale is the precision layering A and B. This one gives you a A2. This is even more dies than that one. Great price point right now, $14.99 each set. This one's $17.99 each set. Here underneath that black frame is some foam. So it is popped off of that base. So if you wanted to make it into a shaker, then you would have put a piece of acetate underneath this black piece and some bits, but I didn't want to do a shaker. And then to finish this one off, I used the new enamel dots of Spellbinders. Love this. Two-tone blue. Use that light glacier color in here i think it offers a nice contrast with the dark colors next this is with the clear stamp of the month and the clear stamp of the month you can do the stamp only or you can do clear stamp and die that will be bundled together i will link both below along the same floral feel of this one if you don't have a glimmer machine but you love this look you can get it in a stamp form. This is a high quality photopolymer stamp. Then the coordinating die. Now the die is interesting. This is called Happy Hello Floral. The dies will cut out all these sentiments. Hope all is well with you. Thank you, friend. Sending a happy hello, a little message to say, and for you. You get all those coordinating dies. What makes this set great with the dies? The back. You get to cut around this floral so you can do like i did here which is a shaped edge card or you can put on the second piece and cut the whole thing out if you want the floral only and also because it is two separate pieces i could have chosen but i wouldn't have done it that way but i could have if i wanted to open up this way and have this edge here so you have play with this die set because this is open-ended and when they do meet, you just clip, clip, okay? But that's cute. So this one is offering you a lot of bang for your buck in terms of the coordinating die. You get all those sentiments which you can use with this or anywhere else. And you also get to cut around the floral so you can use the floral by itself. So I stamped this out and I kept the same kind of colorway with the gray leaves. This time I was using Olo markers, I did some reds, yellow for the center with a touch of brown, and then gray leaves. I used hammer mill cardstock. So with the hammer mill cardstock, the same one that I glimmer on, I can also stamp. And you can use your alcohol markers with it, which is great. So here I stamped the, a little message to say directly on the card the base. The card is the hammer mill cardstock, and I scored down the here. The die cut machine, I just put that edging ran it through to that point, then backed it out of my machine. Okay. I had so much white space. I brought in a super cute die. Happy birthday. Love. Five and seven eighths of an inch tall. Three inches. Isn't that nice? Interactive card. Look at that. You could put a piece of vellum here if you wish, if you want to bring it all the way out. And this happy birthday just layered up. This Finished it off with some red gems. So super cute. Fun to color, easy to color, great for you guys to practice your alcohol ink coloring or at this size, practice your water coloring too. Two thumbs up for that. And the price point for the stamp and die set, not bad in the kit club, okay? And lastly, there is the stitching die of the month. This one I'm currently working on. So you're going to see another video from me featuring the stitch die of the month. Stitched floral card front die. You have a full A2 card base and 
all these elements pop out for you to stitch okay crafters so in summary look at the offerings here it is a lot of gorgeous florals a different take on a floral with the fruit love this pomegranate this is just so much fun too the small die of the month i just love that they threw in something different unexpected and she can also still have florals all the way around oversized glimmer hot foil love that as you can see the wax seal here is different than this one because i had not received this yet so i used this beauty but i'm not mad at it either this is a great little set here too Alrighty, crafters everything will be detailed and linked below don't forget to look at those value clubs if you get the perfect package it will not include these two okay has to be separate plus the add-on for the month which is the stencil that's a completely separate purchase that's a regular purchase so if you are shopping the current die sale then you can add this stencil to it because this will incur shipping, okay? Alrighty, crafters, until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye!